Welcome back to the coverage of the Copenhagen High End Show 2018. We're back with uh, Peter Camo from IAG because I just asked him why why is this the tweeter and the base midframe why are they so to say switched compared to our normal design? And I just got a very interesting explanation. So Peter, what what's happening here? Uh, well, we call this mission IDG inverted driver geometry, and it's there for very good reason. If we look at a, uh, just turn the speaker upside down so that we can simulate a speaker with a normal speaker with a tweeter at the top. Uh, the problem is that if you look at the plane in space where this is producing upper mid-range where it's crossing over to the treble unit, it's actually positioned further back than the treble unit itself. So the result is that when you're sitting there, the sound from the base mid-range unit arrives at your ears slightly after the sound from the treble unit. And as a crossover designer, that gives me a little bit of a problem because I've got to try and compensate for that. So the neat thing about turning it upside down, let's just do that. Then when you're seated here, the path difference to the base unit is actually shorter than the path distance to the treble unit. And that helps equalize the time of arrival so that the sound from the two drive units are much more coherent when they arrive at your ears, and I can then design a much simpler and easier crossover with better integration between the units. What an elegant solution to a very complicated issue, I believe. <laughs> well, thank you very much for just explaining that, okay. and uh, we hope to see more of you. All right, thank you.